the old saying, necessity is the mother of invention. And um, the necessity to keep Mama happy, um, I have always struggled with putting a switch on for the smoke. In this case, the smoke is actually plugged into a separate port, and the idea is you unplug it. My concern is when I unplug this switch, I'm actually talking live track voltage here. So now this is dangling around, and if I hit the frame or something like that, I zap the transformer and hit the circuit breaker, and everything comes to a screeching halt. You want to turn the, the smoke on and off in a convenient on and off mechanism, a way. Now, I had these bag of switches that I've used um, for programming. They're used primarily for programming, um, turning the train's computer off and on for programming. So you can use this tiny little off and on switch because it handles enough of the current that would go to the smoke. And then you can toggle it in an on and off manner. My problem was where to fit it, especially in an engine like this where the it's a big engine, there's a, the, 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 the interface board, there's just not a lot of room, and you don't really want it on the, you don't really want it on the tender, because what happens then is, as I learned earlier today, I shut the light off. When I turn, unplug smoke, this signal also turns on the light, so now I've shut off the headlight. It's like, oh hell, that's not so much fun. Uh, you got no smoke, no headlight. But if you had a headlight and no smoke, then that's more fun, okay. So with this switch, the wire that is supplied with it is long enough that I could, if I found a way to mount it to this board, this board, and run those leads here to the smoke, then I could have this tie to the smoke, this tie to the light, so the light would be always on, the smoke would be switchable from up here somewhere. So then I, the challenge was, how do I find a way to fit this kind of big switch up there, yet make it convenient enough that you could turn it off and on. So what I came up with as a, as a way of testing was I made a, a template out of polypropylene, just some material I had laying around, and I created a cutout the size of the switch, and then I just kept fitting and fitting and fitting until I found a location and a method that seemed to work. You know, nothing you know, if it would just move over there and stay, everything would be great. Will it? No, of course not. Okay, so if I fit the switch in like this, and I bring my little template up and line it up with the screw holes, and then cram my little switch into the right spot, just fits. It truly does fit, honest. Everything doesn't fall over. I'm not Cecil B. DeMille. At any rate, this is the idea. The switch would be captured not necessarily have to be bolted and then the easy thing is when you shut it off and on you're actually rubbing against this hard phenolic board and that's going to capture it and keep it contained the only modifications i had to do now i have to do is translate these this cut out over here and cut out cut it out on this board exactly the same so what i'll do is a rough cut with my dremel and then file it with my file set I had to do some modifications to the switch in order to get everything to fit as snug as it had to be uh, because things got tight. And so what I had to do was come up with a notch here, so I can get it right, okay, there's the notch that I ground down, and then I had this rounded edge here so that the switch could rotate and yet still be <clears throat> in the right spot so it could rotate up and clear the base and it would sit like this and it would be actually held in place by the cardboard of the thing and then you just simply push uh, down off and up on or up yeah up on down off and you would just reach in each reach in with your finger and slide it down you wouldn't even have to see it, it would just feel it and you know you just learn that down is off and up is on it's fairly straightforward that way so that's the idea that's what i've come up with now i'm brave enough i've done this fitting so i feel like i have this shape will work 
Now I'm going to transfer this shape over to the actual board. I may do it on a test board. I have another one here I could do a test on just to make deadly sure I'm not screwing something up because that's, you know, that's Robbie's, this is mine. So maybe I'll do this one first and do a test fit and show you what that looks like. But that's what I've been doing for the last hour is fabricating my once and for all switch off and on smoke forever. This will how this is the technique I'm going to use from now on. Period. Later.